Hi guys, this is Usama and today we are going to review Toyota Vanguard 2013 model 4 wheel drive. Toyota Vanguard has been offered in two versions for uh, 7 seater and 5 seater. Toyota Vanguard is a versatile and functional vehicle that can serve both small and big families. It also used mostly for off-road vehicles and this car has been sold in Japanese market in 2007. The car we are going to review today, it has 5 seater and 4 wheel drive. We are talking about in this video exterior, interior, major function of this car, what is the benefit of off-road, what is the benefit of 7-seater, 5-seater, what is the engine is used in that car. So let's start our review from the exterior. Now we are start the review from front side and if we show you the bonnet. The bonnet has smooth curves, one and second curve, this is only because of giving its sporty look. If we talk about the the grill, the grill has four different frames that give that is the combination of chrome and plastic. The center grill has been fixed by the Toyota logo. And if we talk about the bumper, the bumper has big range. It can be start from that side, and you can say it's a, it has a long range, and it gives the wider and elegant and sporty look into this car. If we talk about the light, main headlight, so this it has one uh, hydrogen bulb, two HD lights and one side indicator that may merge in the uh, headlights. If we go down and talk about the uh, fog light, so it is the HD beam light that given by the Vanguard and this light is not coming in the uh, RAV4. So here we see the trunk of this car and the trunk is very elegantly shaped by Toyota and it's following the shape of Prado because it's open the trunk like that as uh, Prado and if we talk about the elegant shape there is a one curve the chrome trim two chrome trim is given to prominent the uh, trunk and there is a tinted glass and back wiper is also there. Here you see the top spoiler with the extra body kit is given by in this car and if we talk about the backlight so there is red and white glass combination the red light is separated by the chrome trim for the bumper so bumper has a wide range and it has a more space as compared to the normal car because it's four wheel drive and it has a good road clearance so here we open the trunk and review the storage so you see the storage of the trunk is pretty wider and very exposure given by the Toyota Vanguard and you can put you can manage your luggage like five three or five bags medium and large size of bag you can manage and if you have a long journey you go to the off-road side so this car is specially made for this type of purpose so we I recommend this if you have a long journey much by the Toyota Vanguard we are going to start interior review with the steering initially we found there is uh, some controls like music up and down mode changes and below behind the steering you found pedal shifter it will use as a uh, increase the gear gear shaft and if you go there behind there is a wiper of the uh, windscreen the logo is mentioned inside the steering and this is the uh, trademark of uh, Toyota steering has a pretty standard and simple and it just covered with the leather covering otherwise if you saw there is no more controls uh, on the steering after the steering we do we discussing the audio meter of Toyota Vanguard it's very well designed and it has three dial the left dial is represent the RPM the center dial is represent the speed and audio meter and the right side dial is uh, represent the fuel and uh, heat and other options of this car and, and in center of the dial you find uh, your mileage if you change the gears you see the parking and if you go to the uh, reverse and if you neutral and drive if we start the car so here you found the others details eco and everything you can mention here if you saw there is some few buttons so you can see these buttons are also functionable so in order to review the interior so inside the dashboard initially you found two air vent of the ac 
so below that you going to the navigation and the led you found here there is the hazard button you found like that and this is very beautifully managed and if we go down so here is the digital timer that given by the toyota just below to the uh, navigation and the timer you can manage from here and after this there is the automatic climate control system if you on this one for example you see now now we increase now i switch on the ac and the temperature is the similar on both sides if i want to go to the climate control then i use this button so this side i want to increase increase the hotness and you see there is a temperature is change in that side and you see that side i found normal one and that side i found cold air so this is the climate control the heater and the uh, ac we can use at similar time the lighter you see lighter space and after this there is two cup holder is given in that uh, in that center dashboard center console and after this you can found the gear knob the gear knob is given and it's very pretty simple and it's zigzag gear knob and there is a drive and there is manual there is a armor rest and one one part is there and here you can there is a lock of the armor rest and if you go to the down one there is a second part so one storage compartment we can found here you can see and one storage compartment we can found here the down here two story big story compartment is given by the toyota in that car at the top you can found the door lights very beautiful and there is also a space for your goggles you can put your goggles here if we talk about the engine so there is two type of engine is offered by the toyota vanguard the one is 2az fe that is most popular most popular and you can get in every uh, rav4 and second is 3.6 cc engine that is 2gr fe v6 popular if we talk about the uh, 2.4 cc it will uh, according to the fuel consumption so it will take around 12 km to 13 km per liter about the acceleration of this car so toyota vanguard the 2.4 cc take around uh, 11 second to reach 100 km so this car has two wheel and four wheel both option and we are reviewing four wheel drive and, and this car can compare in the market nissan x-rail and uh, subaru forester rav4 as well